Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, tonight I'm doing a video on how to calculate uh, a formula for a hydrate. Now remember hydrates are basically uh, a compound that contains water. And compounds that do not contain water we refer to them as being anhydrous, meaning without water. But tonight we're going to look at how to calculate these uh, hydrate formulas. Now, uh, when you watch us work these problems together uh, you'll see that it's just like doing the empirical formula calculations uh, it can be time consuming but not horrible and I'm going to take some shortcuts to save some time uh, for all of us okay if you notice the operating system that I use is Linux um, you know this version is Ubuntu and I love it because it's got some really uh, nifty programs uh, for chemistry so I'll show you those in just a second. All right, here notice they want us to, you know, the question was regarding hydrates, and these were the questions that were submitted to me online. Uh, one of them was if you was given 3.71 grams of sodium carbonate. Notice that he was unable to, you know, put them in as subscripts, uh, just because that's the way it is with uh, receiving emails, you know. Anyway, it's just text. I'll, you know basic text. Well, first thing I need to do is I need to figure out how many moles I have of sodium carbonate and how many moles of water I have. Okay. Now to do that, I'm going to have to get access to a periodic table. Well, I don't want to waste this time in this video doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a program that I have in the science section called Chemical Calculator. Now, this is uh, available on Linux, so I um, don't know about you Windows users or your Mac users, but there may be something free out there or a website. But anyway, I'm just going to use this really quickly so I can get done fast. All right, the form is Na2CO3. Uh, make sure that you type it in correctly because I've got two sodiums, two sodiums, one carbon, one carbon, and three oxygen and I did. I'm just going to hit enter and when I do I get the formula right here. Now notice that they're giving me the answer down here the 105.99. Now that I'm, I'm going to round it to 0.99 because the periodic table that I normally use only carries out to two decimal places. Uh, so yeah. But you use this program at your discretion. If you're probably doing this to a professor that's really picky about you being exact, then you may want to just use the periodic table and work it out by hand. But I'm really laid back with my students, so, you know, sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and key this in. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, write this down for us. Uh, this was 105.99, so help me try to remember that. I know you can't really speak because you're just having to watch. I want to punch it in for us. All right, we've got um, this 3.71 grams of uh, this Na2Cl3, and I'm going to divide it by the uh, 105.99 because that was its molar mass. Okay. Now that's grams, and that's grams. Now remember, this is for the Na2. Well, uh, almost try to save some time and not write that. I'll just cheat and grab this, like this. Copy, paste it over there. So <laughs> that'll give me basically moles of that. Okay. So moles of that formula. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on the water. Okay, I'm going to take the 6.29. I don't know if that little flaming ball on the mouse is bothering you or not. I can turn it off if it is. There, uh, 6.29 grams, and I'm going to divide it by its molar mass. Now I want to grab the chemical calculator again. I'm going to type in water H2O. Hit enter. Notice that here it's 18. Point oh two. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down. Eighteen point oh two. 
Okay. I'm going to move, move these other ones out of the way for now and get them out of the way. Okay. All right. Now remember, both of these are grams. Grams of what? Uh, well, they're grams of water. This is the molar mass of the water, and this is the amount that was given. Now, once I divide these two, this will be moles. So I'm going to write water here. H two O. Say it was about the same amount of time as it would be cut paste and copy. All right, so now I need a calculator. So here's my TI-83. All right, let me turn this thing on. There we go. I'm going to type it in three point. Whoops. Type this in. I've got three point uh, seven one divided by one oh five point nine nine. Now notice I get this number here, zero point zero three five. So I'm going to write that down. Okay. So let's write that down. Uh, grab this, and that was zero point zero three five. Now look, I've got three sig figs. I've got four sig figs. I need three sig figs there. So that's three five five, and I'm going to have to write down the zero just so I have said that I've written down that many. Okay. Now this number is important. Now let's look at the other one and get the other number. I've got 6.29 divided by 18.02. When I do that, I get this number. Now, I need three sig figs here. So the 0 0.349 will do. So let's write that down. 0 0.349. Now, I want you to realize that I know that this is basically my moles amount. Moles of this and moles of this. But in some sense it doesn't matter right now that I'm not labeling this. What we're going to focus on is this. Which of these two numbers is the smallest? Well, the smallest of these two numbers is the first one. Now on these hydrates it's always going to be the one in the front. Okay, So we're going to divide both of these numbers by the smallest amount. We're doing this so we're forcing one of these quantities to become one. Okay. And here we're going to divide it by 0 0.0350 as well. Now, when we do this, what happens is we get a 1 here. And that 1 means that we've got 1 in a 2 CO3. Okay. Now, the hydrates, this is where you can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or more. Okay. But here, when we divide these two numbers, okay, we have uh, 0 0.349 divided by 0 0.0350. Notice that we get 9.97, yada, yada, yada. Well, that's really close to the number 10. And if you remember from calculating empirical formulas, that is good enough because that's really, really close. So this is actually 10. Now. 10 what? Well, it's 10 waters. So, finally, lo and behold, our formula for our hydrate should be the following. It should be Na2CO3 dot, we're like a time sign, dot 10 h two o finally we have the formula for the hydrate here. Now as far as the name, uh, this is sodium carbonate uh, decahydrate. Now, if you need to, watch it over again. I'm sorry I was a little bit lazy not working out the uh, molar mass and writing everything down, but I feel that this is uh, good enough. So, you know, like I said, I hope it helps. Uh, if you have any more questions, just send some more requests and I'll do my best to try to work them and I hope it helps. Y'all have a good day, or good night.